Hello, I'm Stavros and I'm Vilsa and welcome, welcome to our channel, channel Time Shirt. In today's video, we are giving you a very special episode. Actually, this is a series of uh, uh, like living in Athens. Mm -hmm. So Greece is a beautiful country and we have so many information about Greece to give yeah. to you, like culture, weather, islands, islands food, and mm -hmm. there are many more. Yeah. So we have gathered the information and we would like to make it as a parts of video because you cannot actually give all the information in one video. So, and yes, we'll start this video with the part one in living in Athens. And of course, we would like to thank our one of our viewer, uh, which actually, he, he actually requested us to give the information about it. We really thank him also. And yes, Let's start our series, Living in Athens, part one. Uh, first, I have to tell you that this is uh, like a parts-wide series. Uh, this, there are so much information that we would like to give to you. Uh, so, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so you will get notified of the next video that is mm -hmm. coming up. And yes, let's start our video series. And of course, I have to tell you that uh, in this series, Living in Athens, if you have any questions or suggestions about this video or so if you want to ask something specific about living in Athens, you can comment down on the link uh, there in the comment section. And yes, we will try our best to help you with that, try to best uh, to answer you as much as we know about it. And yes, we'll start our series. So my love, let's start from our beautiful breeze. Yes, uh, Greece is uh, known from mythology, of course. Uh, now is part of European Union. Uh, it's located in Europe in southeast area. If you see it on the map, but you are going to put your picture right around here somewhere. We don't know yet where. Uh, we're showing you all the European Union and the location of Greece. Uh, now, furthermore, Greece is known for the. Uh, contributions in philosophy, astronomy, mathematics, and medicine, uh, yes, and as well theatre and the development in modern drama. Uh, we are going to talk as well about uh, in the coming few minutes about the islands as well, which are quite a lot. Uh, well, now let's go focus a little bit on the uh, one, two, a little bit more cities, let's say. Uh, now we are in Athens, which is the capital of Greece, and we are currently located there, right here. Uh, the majority of the population is actually located here, as uh, you, all over the planet, all the countries, the majority of the people is staying in the capital cities, but that doesn't mean that all the population is actually here. Uh, there's another big town up north in Greece, which is called Thessaloniki. It's a very popular lo location as well for, to go, for someone to go, and it's very populated as well. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the country is not populated. Uh, now, let's go to the islands. Uh, the islands, it's uh, estimated around 1,000 to around 5,000, 6,000 if I'm correct while the inhabited islands are like around 100 to 200 uh, something maybe like 210 or something like this uh, it depends because of the summer some might open and or maybe visited or something like that as well uh, Greece as a country itself it has is one of the is one of the biggest coastlines as a country and if I remember correct, these are the 11th, it has the 11th position in the world uh, because of that. Uh, so we have lots of coastlines so you can enjoy uh, a nice stream, a nice uh, sea breeze uh, during the summertime. And yes, islands are very scenic and there are so mm -hmm. many famous islands also, yes, like Santorini. So, yes, exactly. Yes. And we are hoping to bring you more information about them. Yes. And there are many more islands that you need to discover, actually. There yes. are hidden ones, isn't it? Yes, yes. There are yes. islands that are not there. There are not a uh, way for tourists to go there unless it's known. Uh, there is uh, some small boats that you can go there uh, to pass you for a day or you can come back or you can stay there even. 
but there is no for example in some occasions electricity or something like that it's totally abandoned islands but you go there and it's like a beautiful paradise it's so a like very different experience yes. So yes, we are going to give you more information about the new mm -hmm. videos. Yes, yes. And yes. I was going to talk about uh, the weather. Yes. Uh, the weather here, as the majority of the Western uh, countries, uh, has uh, four seasons, uh, which is uh, the winter, uh, the spring, the summer, and the fall, and then back to winter, of course, which rotating uh, non-stop. Uh, the winter can go, for example, minus 10, maybe minus 15 in some occasions. It has, uh, that's most likely in the northern uh, side of Greece, and uh, that's more colder. And while the more southern parts, which are uh, like islands, are a little bit more warm, it can be, uh, I don't know, during the winter time, it can be maybe like 5 or 0 degrees or something like this. In the northern uh, side of Greece, you can find in the winter uh, like uh, snow, uh, thick uh, snow, while in the southern part you will not see it that often. As well, in uh, the capital city that we are now, uh, we were lucky enough to see it uh, after quite long years, uh, we've seen this year uh, snowed in, inside Athens. Uh, so, for example, if I remember, for one or two days, it actually had snow, and it made the life of the people that live in Athens just a little bit more difficult, but funnier and enjoyable uh, as well. Uh, but uh, in other years, you might see some snowflakes inside Athens, but inside Athens, it will not snow. You might go a little bit more like outside, like one or two hour drive, uh, to find. Uh, uh, s snow on the ground and you can build a snowman or have fun with your family. Uh, during the summer uh, it's very nice to visit uh, an island or maybe a mountain which is uh, a high up so you can have like a cold temperature there as well. Island so you can do a lot of swimming, eat nice fresh food and as well enjoy the breeze that the island provides. Uh, the hot temperature during the summer, we have reached like 42, 43 in some occasions. Uh, it might go very hot uh, as, a, as a summer, but as an overall, it, the summer starts like uh, end of May and it finishing like end of September. Something like this, where, where the spring and the fall is. Uh, right there, the temperature is uh, starting to increasing and drops as well. Um, of course, in the uh, spring you will see the flowers blooming and fall, the leaves falling. It makes very nice scenery if you are in uh, in uh, some mountain or some forest or uh, or you are up in a hill, having some nice breeze and enjoying uh, a beverage or something like that. Do you want to tell us something about uh, Greece for me? Oh yes, the next best thing about Greece is its food. Oh. Uh, Greek food is amazing and uh, it has the Mediterranean uh, food section. Most of the food is made of olive oil and there are huge varieties, meat, vegetables and even the fruits also. Mm -hmm. There are so many pastries, there are a lot of things and you know, we have made a um, yes. video list about Greek food, Greek drinks, what we drink the Greeks are having at, like in a daily life. So yes, uh, we are going to put the links on the description below. Please do uh, watch them and so you, yes, you can get an idea about the Greek food culture. And yes, we're in the coming videos, we are hoping to bring you about the cost of living in Athens mm -hmm. and the culture, the Greek mm -hmm. culture, how it is, what, what are the aspects of it, mm -hmm. and many more. So stay with us, and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to our channel. Uh, yes. Thank you for staying so long with us. Uh, share this video if you like it. Subscribe with us for more videos that are coming up. Support Thank us on Patreon. Thank you and have a wonderful day.